So back, I guess, uh, at the end of last year, was it the end of last year? It was right, no, it was in January. It was in January. Right after the election. Well, right. It was in December, man. It was in December. Yes. Okay, so it was in December. It was, oh, yeah, that's right. It was during the lame duck session in uh, Michigan where uh, Michigan Republicans, knowing that they wouldn't be able to pass this when the new uh, Michigan legislature assembled in January, um, forced through a right-to-work bill in Michigan. And so there was major union protest. And at the time, you had a lot of union folks coming out and protesting against the uh, uh, out in front of the state house, and of course Fox sent their minions there to um, to cover the protests ostensibly, uh, but also to be a little bit more provocative than that. Let's play the clip. What is it about right to work that you oppose so much? What is it about right to work? It's because it's it's the freedom to freeload. They can suck all of the parasitical benefits and the hard wages that unions have negotiated, and they get it for free. I've already destroyed one tent. Leave the tent alone. Get the f out of my face. Don't tear down the tent. Get the f out of my face. You hurt a lady. You're not dressing me. I didn't hurt nobody. You hurt the f out of my face. Back the f up. Stop turning down the tent. Back the f up. Okay. Now, you can hear him at one point saying, you just assaulted me. Now, this is a, a compilation of video that uh, this guy, Steven Crowder, put together, and it showed him getting punched by a union thug. And uh, Steven Crowder got a lot of mileage out of this. He was invited to CPAC. He had his uh, moment of fame. He made a big deal about it. Wanted to challenge the protester to a legal sanction mixed martial arts bout. And then within a day or so, it became clear that the video was sort of misleadingly edited. On Monday, Ingham County Prosecutor Stuart Dunnings announced he will not press charges against the protester who punched Stephen Crowder in the mouth. Not simply because Stephen Crowder in general deserved maybe to be punched in the mouth, <laughs> but because... Um, the protester was defending himself. Dunning said of the union member who apparently slugged Crowder, it's pretty clear the person they wanted to charge was acting in self-defense. Dunning's question why Crowder didn't initially provide the original footage to Dunning's office. I'm not holding that against him, but why would they provide the edited video? The longer video clearly shows the guy got pushed down and came up swinging. I think that's the polite way of the prosecutor saying they tried to provide us with false evidence in this case, but I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. So for those of you who felt a little bit guilty that in some way you were celebrating this guy downing, getting punched in the face, or Crowder, rather, rather uh, Crowder, rather, getting punched in the face, uh, and you felt a little guilty about it, well, now you need feel guilt no more. Have a party. Do you remember the Gawker headline for that story when it first happened? Before any of this came out, it was something like, some Fox News contributor was punched by a union member in Michigan. Do we really need to pretend to feel bad? There you go. Well, now you do. Conservative comedians who report the news. Bad at comedy and also bad at reporting the news. Indeed.